Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to the uh, Dolly Studio. <laughs> so it is a Sunday and Sundays I like to try to get some sewing done. So I'm sitting in here enjoying a nice uh, little beautiful day outside. Um, I already went out on my bike ride and enjoyed some fresh air. So now I need to finish up these little doll dresses and I wanted to share them with you real quick. Um, especially if you're looking for a super easy uh, way to make a doll dress. Now I'm making this doll dress specifically for these Disney princess dolls. These are the, just the classic Disney princess dolls. They have the uh, sort of rubbery uh, bend and click legs. And I gave a couple of these dolls to some little girls and I thought it would be fun to make a couple of dresses for them because I know these girls are big Harry Potter fans. And Marna at Dolls Rescue had gifted me this fabric, so I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to make some little Harry Potter doll dresses for their uh, Disney Princess dollies that I already gave them. So um, this is basically a very simple uh, pattern. I, I hesitate to call it a pattern because basically you have two squares or two rectangles, really. The skirt is a rectangle and the top is a rectangle. And I got this idea off of a website uh, called Craftiness is Not Optional. So if you Google craftinessisnotoptional.com and look for her, um, she's got something called the Barbie Dress Tutorial. And she has some little variations to it, but basically the idea is you have a rectangle at the top and a larger rectangle at the bottom. This one was ended up being two inches by four inches and this I believe I did it 11 no 10 by six okay and then of course it's hemmed and in fact here's one here it's hemmed and it's gathered so you know you're going to lose a little bit of that um, length from that I put a snap on the back and I'm giving her sleeves I have this uh, lace that I got for my Wednesday Adams doll and I thought I could use this to make some cute little sleeves so I've I went ahead and stitched, hand stitched it on. Now I'm um, figuring out how big to make it in the back and I'm gonna hand, just trim it off here and hand stitch it inside. Um, and then when I'm finished, I'll come back and show you uh, the little finished outfit. But um, yeah, super easy. I whipped these up very, very quickly. And um, you do have to, I did add a few little darts here. Again, if you go over to that website, she has pictures so she can see how she did it over there. So let me go ahead and finish up Jasmine's dress and I'll be right back to show you the completed dress with the completed sleeves. Okie dokie, so both dresses are done. Um, I hand stitched on the straps. This is just that lace I told you. And it's definitely helpful to have the doll in my hands when I'm sewing something like this to make sure that um, everything fits properly. You don't have to have straps on this dress. Um, but I think it's a good idea. Here's one I made a couple years ago and I just used ribbon because otherwise it will, you know, if you handle the doll a lot, it can fall down and expose her tatas. <laughs> so, um, especially since I've given these to little girls who I assume are going to play with these dolls and change their clothes out and stuff like that, I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and add the straps. And the lace worked out really, really well. Glad I remembered I had that. All right, guys, as usual, please give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? And let me know in the comments down below um, what do you think about these little dresses. Have a wonderful Dolly Bay day. Bye-bye.